Japanese paratrooper um, bayonet. I'm dying to try how it works. And uh, look at that gilding, look at that hilt. Hello everybody, this is War Story Video Vlog. I am Alex and here we are uh, in the United States and I want to show you items that I bought last auction and uh, items that my customers bought on this auction. Because I was uh, like a broker, people asked me to bid for uh, them in auction and I just uh, keep commission for it. Uh, uh, and I'm happy to show you items that people uh, want. This is a really interesting item. So, for example, this one uh, is Napoleonic War uh, period officers, uh, England sword and this one is really nice and uh, look at that gilding look at that hilt and look at that blade with bluing with gilding and with all this engraving so i really like it and uh, it's hard to believe that it's like model uh, 1803 uh, infantry officer sword with uh, original tassel so uh, probably somebody fought with uh, this item uh, during Waterloo, who knows uh, what battle, which battle, which particular battle this sword went through. But anyway, this one is uh, really nice and uh, also the good part of this sword is a scabbard, original scabbard with just a small repair and with all these uh, fittings on it. And it was uh, not, not, not expensive, It's uh, that's nice, I really like it. Also, I bought uh, more items, for example, this Shashka, Zlataust made this uh, Russian Shashka model uh, 1909. This one is really nice with uh, uh, Nikolaus II crest on the uh, hilt and some more items. For example, this uh, collection of Canadian Ross uh, bayonets. And we can see here different variants of uh, this bayonet and it was full collection with eight variants. In really good condition. For example, this one is the first pattern uh, with um, this type of shape of tip of blade. And if we look at this one, for example, uh, this one is a typical second model. You can see difference um, between this one and that one. Uh, so I'm happy to have it together and I have uh, order for some of them and um, I will keep a couple of them and uh, the rest I will uh, sell. Uh, one more interesting, two more interesting pieces is uh, or are uh, Japanese paratrooper um, bayonet. This one I bought and um, it's really cool. It's a Toyota uh, factory maker mark, factory stamp. Toyota, it means Toyota. It's a very similar logo here we can see. And look at that. This is original short bayonet for guys who jump with parachutes. And you can see uh, how nice is it. And this one is really expensive uh, piece. This one is folding bayonet also for Arisaka and you can see how uh, it works. It's a rare pat pattern. It's uh, not really often you can see uh, on the market. And uh, what else do we have? This one is interesting uh, piece. This is original um, trench saw for uh, British soldiers. And uh, this one is interesting because we can see original pouch uh, that came with with it, original handles inside, original uh, tools also we can see here and um, I'm dying to try how it works. Uh, that's really interesting. This one is a bayonet, but more it's a fighting knife. World War One period, this one uh, made uh, in beginning of 20th century and this one looks like um, KS. 98 uh, bayonet, but this uh, button is artificial. For example, what else do we have uh, here? This knife uh, is really nice. This is US Navy MK1 uh, Springfield bayonet for New Zealand. We can see here special stamps. That's quite rare and uh, it cost more uh, than uh, this is a special system, um, like safety system, 
<laughs> and uh, we can see here mm, mint condition and uh, it was around 500 uh, bucks uh, and it was auction price so it's really nice piece and guy who uh, bought it is really happy with it uh, more items we can see here for example this one is uh, Japanese bayonet but it's not really bayonet this is a, a knife for or bayonet for um, spare uh, you can't fix it on the rifle uh, you can fix it on the uh, special spare and uh, it's like Japanese Volkssturm. These items released to private citizens uh, in Ireland in case um, American troops invasion uh, to the island, how to say it, like landing operation. If landing operations start, uh, they have to uh, use it as civil defense. Also, I bought few items, uh, third Reich period, for example, this SA uh, dagger um, M36 um, stamped here. And look at that, this blade is really in mint condition with really nice uh, and lovely uh, wood here and really nice aluminum eagle on uh, it. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, for example, this case. Actually, War Story made these cases with special museum glass, and you can see how clear is it. And uh, a lot of nice uh, words we can see here. For example, this uh, Africa medal in mint condition, in mint condition wound badge. Medals for Crimea War. Uh, this one is like full size medal and few miniatures with different uh, spanks also. Uh, we can see here Russian awards like Saint Stanislav and uh, Saint George for um, officers we can see here it's also miniatures but in really nice condition and really nice uh, quality and a uh, few more items for example this iron crust first class uh, this ground assault badge for Luftwaffe and this destroyer badge uh, World War II period so all these nice items uh, I bought in one auction, some items I bought for myself, some items I bought for my customers, for viewers of War Story and I want to wave and say hello to all guys who uh, want it. And, and some more items will come here in my Connecticut studio uh, next week and I also want to show it to you. And also I want to show uh, you this collection of um, Canadian Ross bayonets and this uh, bayonet for uh, paratroopers. So it will be a special series of uh, video reviews of this collection material. I'm happy to show you a full collection. So that's really nice. And uh, probably I will not have a chance to do that later. So I want to uh, do it and publish in my channel. Let's picking some more items that uh, we can see a uh, table next door from here. And every time in our video we're doing unpacking, but now let's do packing, because I already filmed this video for uh, Russian-speaking audience, uh, and I unpacked few boxes of stuff. And uh, this is very interesting stuff, because uh, customers, viewers of War Story video blog, uh, bought some really nice pieces that I didn't buy before. I didn't uh, see it, I didn't focus it on it on the um, military antique shows and uh, I didn't focus it on it uh, during auctions but now I just uh, received the order about Alex can you place a bid for me uh, and I placed and that's really nice so here we can see trunk with uh, Japanese stuff with Japanese uniform with Japanese uh, hat so it looks really authentic uh, and um, like traditional uh, this is uh, special straps for um, boots and this is boots uh, Japanese army boots with Newspaper and this is a Japanese newspaper also uh, dated uh, 2004. In this uh, year, I finished school and probably somewhere uh, young Alex without the beard uh, just walk uh, from the school home and uh, somebody just packed these boots for 
next generation, you know. And now viewer and customer bought uh, all this stuff and he will build um, mannequin. Also, he asked me to find for him uh, some more items, such items like uh, bayonets, swords, uh, and all stuff that Japanese soldier and Japanese officer and Japanese NCO uh, have to have during the battle. So that's very interesting quest and very interesting challenge for me. And I will show you um, what did I find. And if you have any information or maybe you have items uh, that I need, that my customer need, that my client need, uh, just let me know. And uh, probably we can uh, film more video and you can share your knowledge about uh, this theme because uh, I'm only starting with Japanese items. So here we can see short with uh, short sleeve. Uh, Japanese authentic and without any insignia. Uh, second item, it is uh, tropical shorts for officers and for uh, soldiers. It's also authentic and uh, we can see it's uh, WW2 uh, period. So next item is uh, side cap. Side cap with uh, visor and with star in front of it and uh, look at the two buttons uh, two authentic buttons uh, with uh, uh, like a chin strap kind of chin strap here uh, this is really nice and size is not uh, big but you know why uh, inside we can see here stamps uh, also and uh, condition is really nice uh, honestly here we can see really American style, um, how to say, jacket uh, for tropical uh, for tropical climate uh, also. And here we can see stamps, uh, Japanese stamps inside. Uh, next item is like long jacket. It looks like smoke. Uh, and also we can see here stamps uh, inside and uh, this is really a uh, nice item and I have to ask guys uh, what particular model is uh, it because I want to make list of items that guy bought and uh, that is also very interesting uh, to share this information with you. Japanese belt uh, really uh, big one and it's also in nice condition without any stamps without any uh, any maker marks uh, next one is like strap for boots and this is sign for uh, blanket and this is uh, original original japanese pants and uh, look at that uh, japanese ww2 soldiers cotton trousers dated showa 17 it's 1942 uh, it's in mint condition so that's uh, that's really nice. Original minty uh, trousers, Japanese. And uh, here we can see the last item in this load. Uh, this is blanket, and this blanket uh, dated uh, 1943. So all these items we will pack here, then we can fix it with straps and cover like this. So this is original Japanese trunk with all these figures. And look at that. Also we can see here uh, the special tag. And couple more characters we can see here. If you can translate it, please help us. Uh, it's very interesting also. There is, there is no this information in description. Next item is original English uh, uniform set. And look at that. This is pair of um, epaulets. And uh, these epaulets are original and we can see it's really in nice and good shape. Uh, and this uniform, we can see here, uh, this is for English uh, officer. Also with this set, uh, customer bought uh, original head that will come here um, in few days. Probably I will show it to you later. But anyway, this uh, original set is really nice and I will put it here inside because I remind you this is not unpacking, this is packing. Uh, so I will put all these items here as much accurate I can. And this is trousers for uh, this set also. We can put it here and close this trunk. Um, 
one, two, three. Here we go. Uh, another one. We can see here. Uh, we can see here full set of DDR medals. It looks uh, messy, but anyway, uh, this is really nice set with uh, more than 100 pieces in it. And we can see a lot of uh, badges and uh, it's not that accurate uh, that I want to, to keep it. I want to repack it properly and send it to my customer. Uh, but anyway, there are a lot of very interesting badges and this is a full collection. Uh, there are, for example, uh, tank forces uh, with um, how to say it classes of word like uh, first class second class third class and uh, rockets uh, forces and uh, anti-aircraft forces and uh, other and other and other uh, this is variety of uh, these badges I don't want to like push it too much I don't want to scratch it more than it is because uh, I know uh, my customer my client will keep it and will save it for uh, next generations and a uh, few more boxes uh, here we can see and uh, a lot of these items uh, is common but most of them you can't find uh, easy at this moment uh, maybe a few years ago it was like uh, i don't know tons of them uh, on the market but now it became scarce and uh, that's very interesting to see a uh, full collection of DDR uh, medals and badges and uh, last exhibition in um, Wilmington uh, we saw really nice display with DDR and with uh, Soviet and with um, Western uh, German uniform with all these sets and that's very interesting I think. And a lot of people respect me when I show uh, this Cold War uh, material because a lot of people was involved in um, these historical moments. Uh, some more items we bought uh, last auction. So all these helmets um, we bought for our customers, uh, except this one. This one I bought for myself and a couple more uh, World War I period items also I bought for myself for um, put it on my auction, for what put it my um, website and uh, some items are really rare and i will uh, show it to you later because uh, for example this one uh, is a helmet um, spanish war uh, period and most of them has been destroyed and they disappeared and uh, it's pretty rare on the market on uh, our day so uh, this is very interesting english uh, helmet for tank troops and we can see here a uh, tactical emblem and here we can see American helmet American tank helmet um, with a place for headsets and uh, this one is nearly mint condition so uh, I also enjoy to buy it for uh, my customer also we bought this standard this standard uh, during world war one period and my customer bought it for his display to make it more uh, nice looking and he will show it with his collection of uh, swords uh, world war one and pre world war one uh, period other items you can see here will be in upcoming auction uh, in November, in November 29th. It will be CNT auction and uh, I want to film an uh, interview with uh, Matthew, uh, owner of CNT auction house and uh, it will be in the next uh, video. So now I want to say you uh, thank you very much for watching this video until the end. Press like and subscribe buttons and uh, thank you guys for support our uh, channel and thank you you all guys who bought these items who won uh, last auction uh, again I hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much and see you real soon <laughs>